Hi, it's Matt from Saxon Street. Thanks for joining us. We're going to talk today about food. Great opportunities for uh, media around quizzes. And I'm pleased to be joined by our very own queen of quizzes, Liz Kreider, who's uh, really an expert in how media companies are, are using quizzes. So today we're going to walk you through uh, a little bit about how uh, our partners here at Second Street, uh, we're very fortunate to work with over 3,000 media companies across North America and into Europe, are really uh, see, doing some amazing things with quizzes overall. Um, as always, a lot of this content is available in our Second Street uh, lab at secondstreetlab.com, our promotions lab, and we've got some great content around quizzes. Uh, if you want to sign up for our newsletter, uh, you can do so at Second Street Lab, and we've got a playbook on today's subject all about how to capitalize on the buzz around quizzes. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into the webinar. Today we're going to really cover uh, why print media is really loves quizzes so much, how they've been so effective, uh, why quizzes really appeal to everyone, uh, all kinds of different uh, uh, readers and users, as well as, uh, as really as advertisers as well. There's some great revenue opportunities here as a whole. And we'll get into a little bit of how you can take advantage of this uh, overall with some best practices. Um, when we talk about quizzes, there's a couple different kinds of quizzes that we're seeing. And there's several, even several flavors of these. But, but one flavor is what we call a personality quiz. Um, and so these are really kind of quizzes where you're asking a variety of different questions to allow somebody to answer them and discover something about themselves. So we're going to give those people different outcomes based on the questions that they ask. So which beetle are you? Or which Cardinals, uh, St. Louis Cardinals baseball player are you? Or what breed of puppy is the right uh, puppy for you to purchase next? Would all be kind of examples of that. Another example is, uh, this one is, uh, what type of Italian food are you uh, as a whole? And we might ask a variety of, uh, of uh, kind of seemingly silly questions. Sometimes they have some meaning behind them uh, that help us arrive at that conclusion overall. Uh, this person here is uh, fresh salad bowls uh, at Pizzoli's restaurant uh, person. So these, these can be fun and really take on a lot of different flavors as we'll see. Uh, second kind would be trivia quizzes. So these are quizzes that really have, are designed to test somebody's knowledge about a particular subject, uh, sometimes uh, rather trivial and kind of, kind of fun, and sometimes it can be a serious learning opportunity. It can be great storytelling mechanisms as a whole. So, or, you know, could be on movie uh, content, uh, could be on something in your local community or around the niche that your uh, publication covers, uh, could be how well you know U.S. history, the possibilities, as we'll see here, uh, on this, on this uh, video are really uh, limitless as a whole. So here's a great example of uh, a media company that's run a quiz around testing somebody's NASCAR uh, uh, knowledge as a whole. I took this quiz. I did not score very well, so it was an accurate predictor of somebody's NASCAR uh, abilities and, and knowledge as a whole. So we've got personality quizzes as well as trivia quizzes. I'm going to cover both of those uh, here today. Another way of thinking about this would be advertiser quizzes. Uh, so these are quizzes that uh, are developed not just by your publication uh, for editorial purposes or to have somebody sponsor them, but are developed specifically with an advertiser in mind. So um, uh, it might be, uh, how well do you know Kansas City by the Kansas City Tourism Bureau? Or what type of car should you drive uh, that might be uh, run by an auto dealer or an auto company where the outcomes would be different cars that they represent as a whole. Or what is your home decor personality, I think is one that we'll show later on in, in this video, uh, would be a great fit for a furniture store uh, to just collect uh, information about people's interests in uh, buying furniture, uh, as well as uh, give them some insight into the type of furniture they might be interested in buying. Uh, as a whole. Here's a great example for uh, uh, a movie theater uh, that's putting on a festival uh, around what are frighteningly called classic films, which are actually the films of my youth, like Back to the Future, etc. cetera. Um, but, uh, but the very content around the types of movies that are in this festival was a great way for them to get the word out about and get people to start reminiscing about some of these classic films and drive them ultimately to the theater itself. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Liz to talk a little bit about why print media loves quizzes uh, so very much. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. 
So print really loves quizzes for a lot of reasons. They are fun, like Matt said. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do with quizzes. They're incredibly engaging, so they don't take long to take, but you know they are engaging. They're certainly very shareable. Um, as you've seen by some of the examples, they certainly do drive revenue. So if you're creating custom quizzes or you've got a sponsor for a quiz, you're driving revenue. Um, they certainly are content for your site and for your publication. They collect some really great data. So as people are answering these questions that may seem silly, they're also telling you about themselves. So when they ask what kind of car should you drive, maybe they're telling you how many people are in the car or if you're fuel efficient or something like that. They also provide a great custom solution, and we're going to see some really cool examples of ways that people were able to reach out to advertisers that they may not have been able to reach out to in the past because they had this really awesome custom solution um, to offer to them. So first up quizzes, like I said, are certainly fun. You can do just about anything with a really great quiz. Here are a couple examples of which classic rock band are you, which Mad Men character are you, so they can be very specific, they can be very um, relatable to your content, but they, you can have a lot of fun with them. You, they're very engaging, like I said. These are also universal, so they can appeal to a massive, massive group of folks, they can appeal to a broad audience or a very specific audience. They're a lot of fun for your team to create, and you certainly do have endless options. I don't think we will ever run out of quiz opportunities, quiz titles um, when it comes to this. And like I said, they do drive that really great engagement and that great content for your site. So just a couple more examples of some great um, quizzes that we've seen lately. Um, the one on the left, Name That Weed, was a fun one that came out around spring. Um, certainly something that can promote a new program like the, this Which M. Night Shyamalan movie Are You was a good one too that got, got a lot of people engaged and we're sharing this really, really um, widely. Which Packer legend are you? And then some really another cool football quiz. So think about those categories and you can create a quiz around those to really engage your audience. And like I said, quizzes do engage your audience. Quizzes are a great way to reach your audience and a great way to interact with your audience. Um, they're incredibly social. Think of all of the quizzes that you see in your Facebook timeline. You see a lot of these things all the time. Um, they're very, very shareable. They can be very timely, so they can be very holiday specific or event specific or seasonal. Um, they're quick and easy, so your audience is going to take them quickly. They can share them. They get them out, and they do a lot of marketing for you by sharing them on Facebook and Twitter and email and all that good stuff. And then, like I said, this is kind of a theme with quizzes, but they can be a lot of fun. Um, so just some examples of ways that folks did engage their audience. This, this first one, um, which ca cartoon character are you? This was from the comics. So uh, this newspaper actually ran a special section about comics and ran a quiz. Uh, the one on the right was about the state fair. So it was all about um, Illinois and the Illinois State Fair trivia. So it was a great way to take a specific event and turn into a really fun opportunity to promote it with a quiz. And then certainly one of our favorites was which Madison local beer are you? Um, they had a uh, beer columnist on staff. They wrote a really great quiz about that local beer, the local beer industry, and this one was one of their top performing quizzes. Okay, so quizzes also drive a lot of revenue, and we're seeing a lot of great ways for people to monetize quizzes. Um, you can sell an exclusive sponsorship. So you can sell one, one sponsor, you can sell multiple sponsors, maybe for prizes, incorporated sweepstakes, or maybe add, sell quiz question sponsors. Um, you can certainly align these with what you're already doing, and you can sell them as a bundle. So you can take three or four quizzes with the same theme and sell them to one advertiser um, to get a really great quiz campaign out of the program. So we can see here some really specific, very, very advertiser specific. This was which Royal Donut are you sold to a Royal Donut, which is a donut shop. Um, they had this really cool quiz. You got an outcome of which donut you were. Somehow I was a cookie. Um, but you also got a coupon. So you, this drove some really great traffic into the business as well. And then these are some really fun ones. Like I said, this was, this was one where the this, this station had never received revenue from this business. Um, it was a comic book store, but when they had these really great specific uh, quizzes, like how well do you know Captain Kirk and test your Star Wars knowledge, all of a sudden you're appealing to a very specific demographic, and they were able to get some really great revenue out of an advertiser that had not spent with them in the past. This was a great one run by a newspaper in Atlanta, uh, Kroger actually sponsors a series of quizzes with the, with the AJC, and this one was specifically around their Taste of Italy event going on at Kroger, so they created a quiz about Italian movie sets. 
So you had to go through this quiz. You had to see, you saw all these great Italian movie sets, and you had to pick which movie each one came from. And finally, these were just some fun Mother's Day, Father's Day quizzes. Again, Kroger sponsored this Who's Your TV Mom? And then Who's Your TV Dad? sponsored by a restaurant. Okay, and what I also love about quizzes is they are really great native. They have really great advertiser content. They're a great way for you to educate your audience and use some of that great native content as um, a quiz. So we've seen these a lot with current initiatives. So maybe you're running some, some sort of health initiative or recycling or safety initiatives. You can add a quiz to that. Um, this is an incredibly unique solution for advertisers. It can be all about them. This is an opportunity for them to really control that programming in a way. Um, they're completely customizable, and they go into your mobile. So you can incorporate these into mobile. You can make them content on mobile, and you're going to get a lot of really great exposure for those advertisers. So just a few examples. These all came from one newspaper. Um, they sell quite a few of these quizzes as what we call branded content. So a healthcare system ran the Are You Taking Care of Yourself Health Quiz. An energy uh, company sponsored the Ultimate Home Energy Quiz. And then an insurance company sponsored Bike Safety. So all of these are great ways to educate an audience and let them know about their, their business, but also make it kind of fun and engaging. Yeah, and what I love about these, uh, Liz, is they really show off the utility of quizzes. Uh, you know, that this is not uh, just trivial. Uh, these are really uh, great ways to, to, to storytell and to teach. And uh, these happen to be uh, branded content, uh, kind of part of native campaigns. Uh, but if you carry this into uh, sponsored uh, quiz opportunities uh, uh, or, or editorial, this is one that didn't have a, a sponsorship. It certainly could have been branded content or it could have been uh, 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 something with a sponsor. This is one I really liked because this one is uh, to identify what items should be recycled. Uh, source of some contention in my household. Um, and this was a great way for my wife and I to, to work through what should go in that recycling bin as a whole. And we learned something from it overall. So, you know, these quizzes can be more than just fun, uh, although they always are fun. They're, they're also a way to, to learn something uh, as a whole and to storytell. Uh, this is one that, uh, that may not be so much fun, but it, it's probably as great an example as you're going to find of something that uh, can be meaningful and really has utility. This is uh, around Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and it's uh, partnered with a health facility uh, in a local market. And it's uh, questions about how much do you know about breast cancer, uh, something that, uh, that I've watched uh, lots of women uh, who probably thought they were knowledgeable about it learn something from this as a whole. And I know one of the great things about this quiz was that at the end of it, it provided opportunities for people to sign up to get, uh, to get uh, uh, screenings and uh, mammograms and things of that nature. So a really great benefit that comes from that education overall. So quizzes, as you suggested, are so versatile. So many different things that we're seeing around it and, uh, and aligning this with the right advertiser or, once again, as editorial content. Just a lot of utility here overall. Absolutely. Well, good. The other great thing about quizzes is we're seeing them collect a lot of great data. So you're going to actually collect a lot of great data about your customers um, as they take these quizzes. So as they answer the questions, maybe as they register or answer a survey question on that entry form, if you include a sweepstakes or include that registration form, and then certainly with opt-ins. So as you're asking them to register, maybe ask them to opt-in to receive more information. So th things that seem, as Matt said, as trivial as something like what type of car should you drive, you're now giving folks data about how many passengers you'll have in your car. Are you towing a boat? Are you towing anything? Um, are you concerned about gas mileage or, or gas efficiency? All of these things are, are questions of the quiz, so you're gathering that really great data as you answer it. Um, this is one of my uh, favorites. This was a What's Your Home Decor personality. It was sponsored by a local furniture store. But what was great was each question showcased products that the furniture store sold. So as you're answering these questions, the furniture store is learning the popularity of each of those products. And then at the end on the registration form, you registered because there was a prize associated with it. But you also told them, will you be looking to purchase furniture in the next 6, 12, or 18 months? And for what room? So it was a great way to just get a little extra data out of that user as they're taking the quiz and entering to win that gift card. And then finally, as you've seen a lot of really great suggestions of this throughout, these really do offer a fantastic custom solution for you and for your advertisers. 
Um, so you can feature their products or services. You're going to, again, collect that really great data for the advertiser. Um, this certainly encourages social sharing, so you're getting that advertiser's face out into the world, a lot of really great social sharing, um, lots of great exposure when you have these fun quizzes that have that mass appeal. And like I said, they do provide that great unique solution. It can be all about them. It can really talk about their business and their product. So just a couple examples. This first one, this was a, a, um, a nonprofit Dragon Master Foundation, and each of the colors of the dragon were different um, pieces of the foundation. Um, the sign, the drive, this was a what's your VW personality, so you just answered a couple super quick questions, and you got a VW as your outcome. So it was a really very custom um, solution for that advertiser. Another one that was really great was, um, this was run by a television station up in Anchorage, but they partnered with the Anchorage Museum because this exhibit was coming to town. And not only did the quiz run on the station's website, it also ran on the museum's website and on site. So after you went through the Captain Cook exhibit at the museum, there were iPads where you took the quiz to see what you learned from that exhibit. So very, very custom, very unique solution um, with this one. And then finally, who doesn't love a good Mexican restaurant? Well, this was all about a Mexican restaurant chain, a very popular group of Mexican restaurants um, in a local market. And they were relaunching and reopening their business. They had, they had renovated everything and they were reopening for an anniversary. So they did a quiz about that restaurant group. Um, they ended up with this one quiz because they gave away a gift card. They got 70% opt-in. So 70% of the people that took the quiz said, yes, send me more information. I want to hear more about Mexican Villa and from the station itself that ran the quiz. So why do quizzes appeal to everyone? They really do, as we've seen, they have that great mass appeal, they're fun, they're engaging, they're great for, for content, they're also great for entertainment. Um, they're going to appeal externally to your audience because they are so social, they're quick, they're easy to take, and they're fun. Um, they're also informative. So like I said, they are social and shareable. This is an example of um, which Royals player are you? This one ran actually last year as the Royals were, had clinched the World, or had, were getting into the World Series. Um, it was which player are you? The cool thing about this one was it was so social. It was shared all over the place. The station shared it. The talent shared it. Lots of folks were taking it all over the market because they were so excited. Um, and one of the players ended up taking it. So Andy got himself and then he tweeted it. So this was certainly a really fun, unexpected perk. Um, but again, as you see, when you share these, you're sharing the link, which makes it so easy for people to go in and take that quiz again and turn it into that great social experience. Another really popular thing, certainly, are you, which Frozen character are you? Um, everyone knows the popularity around this. So when you're running a quiz about which Frozen character are you, you're going to get a lot of people engaged, both adults and kids. Um, this one in particular, was taken 9,000 times in just a week with a 75% opt-in rate. So again, you've got these great, exciting um, topics, and you're going to get people externally that are going to be really excited about it. And then finally, this was a, another one that was very, very specific to a market, but how Alaskan are you? Um, this one in particular was run by a television station and taken about 12,000 times um, just in the two weeks that it was run. So people are passionate. They want to share their knowledge. They want to test their knowledge. They also want to share the results and let people know how they did on these, to, on these quizzes. So great way to, to get some great social exposure. And then internally, this is great for your team as well. Certainly it's great for an editorial piece. Um, this quiz was not sponsored. This was just an editorial about the city of Madison. It was written by um, the, the writer at the Wisconsin State Journal that writes about Madison. Um, he does all of the local stories and he created a quiz about how Madison are you. Um, you can also align it with things you're already doing. So this was a wedding magazine and they ran a what kind of bride are you quiz alongside um, the big release of one of the issues that was coming out right in the be beginning of, of wedding season. And then certainly um, Peanuts, this actually ran in Madison.com as well, which is the home of Charles Schultz. Um, but as the movie is coming out, this is a great opportunity to run a which Peanuts character are you quiz. Um, that's going to be really fun for folks. They'll take it. They'll share it. It'll be really, really social. Um, just fun fact, 38% of people that took this quiz were Snoopy. So you see there you get this fun outcome as well where you can put some great information about, you know, maybe the person or maybe the sponsor or something like that on that outcome page as well. 
And then finally, as we get, as we know, sports are huge. People are very passionate about sports. They're passionate about both their knowledge of sports and then, like you see here, which badger are you that ran um, – that was more which one of those all-time greats were you, are you, um, and it really gets people to, to kind of want to relate. They, they get in it, they get excited about it, and certainly they're sharing these as well. So once you find out which badger are you, you want to know, let your friends and family know. Okay, so let's talk about how to get buy-in for these quizzes. So there's a couple things you'll want to do. The first thing is you want to have a plan. You want to make sure you're thinking about everything that you have coming up. You want to make sure you have a really great plan for your quizzes so everyone is on the same page. So when you're making your plan, you want to look at what you're already doing, and then you can really align quizzes with what you're already doing. You can align them with what your big programming or your big special sections or your big initiatives, and that's going to really help everybody be more successful with quizzes. You, this has been kind of a theme, but you want to make it fun. Um, engage your team. You know, we have a lot of fun creating these quizzes here at Second Street. This is something that can be a lot of fun for your entire team. Come up with those timely topics and really enjoy it. Have a good time with it. Make sure everybody's engaged, everyone's involved, and everyone's participating. And make sure you're showing the benefits. Make sure you're, you're featuring the benefits. Talk about all the great things that quizzes do. They drive all that great online traffic, so you're driving a lot of folks to your website. They drive fantastic social engagement. Um, they're probably going to do great things for your editorial team and for your sales team and your marketing team, so they're really a great gift for everyone. And certainly they drive revenue, which I know is something that's very important to all of us. So when you're selling quizzes, you want to think about advertisers to target. And when you're doing that, you want to be very systematic. You want to align those advertisers with your theme, and you want to think about who your target audience is. So if you're running a which Frozen character are you quiz, you're probably going to reach the parents of those kids that are engaged in Frozen and the kids. So who are those advertisers that want to be in front of that audience? If you're running a which football player are you quiz, you want to think about which advertisers want to be in front of that demographic. Niche advertisers are a fantastic fit for quizzes because they can be so custom and you can do so many creative things with them. So be thinking about that too as you're coming up with and thinking about the advertisers you want to target for quizzes. So again, here's that frozen quiz. This was a great way for an advertiser to get in front of a very, very um, specific audience. Certainly kids, parents, grandparents actually all engage with this type of a quiz. And then you can also incorporate a sweepstakes. So Incentivize people. Give them something that's going to justify them registering and giving you information. Ask us, if you're giving away a great prize, you can ask a survey question to gather more information. Make sure it's a really great prize. Make sure it's a prize that's going to justify um, me taking the time to give you that information and answer those questions. This is also a great opportunity to gather opt-ins and gather likes for your, your Facebook page and your advertiser's Facebook page. Here's an example of a registration form. Um, this was that How Well Do You Know Kansas City quiz sponsored by the Kansas City Visitor Bureau. So they, got to, they gathered some data while people were taking the quiz. They asked about email and name and phone number, and then they added a couple opt-ins and a Facebook like box. So this was a great way for them to gather more information, and since there was a giveaway, they were incentivizing people as well. Okay, so when it comes to promoting your quizzes, you want to have fun with this too. So I would just want to show you a few examples of some fun promotional things that we've seen for quizzes. Um, as you can imagine, a lot of promoting is happening on, on social. So here are just a couple Facebook posts um, that you can see people sharing their, their, um, their outcomes and, and sharing that link on Twitter. It's another great way. So Facebook, Twitter, all of those, those social pieces are really, really valuable. And we have a lot of folks that use dedicated emails to promote their quizzes. So sending out an email, asking people to, to participate. We know that email is a huge activator of these types of promotions, so custom emails are great for this. You can see here this is actually a website takeover, so there was a homepage, and they actually during for a day a week for probably two or three weeks, they ran this on the homepage, and it just popped up, and you got it as soon as you got to their homepage. Okay, so let's talk about a few takeaways when it comes to capitalizing on quizzes. The first one is use these quizzes to solve advertiser needs. 
We talked about how these are very, these are offer a custom solution. These can be very unique. They can be customized for the advertiser. So listen to your advertisers, hear what they're trying to do, and then create a quiz that's going to solve those needs. Make sure you're aligning quizzes with your current promotions. This is going to be a great way for you to be efficient. Um, if you're already promoting specific things, aligning a quiz with that is going to be a great way to maximize that. And then as, as far as current promotions, also think holidays. So think about those holiday quiz bundles. Um, that's another great way to really capitalize on what you're already doing. Quizzes truly are a gift to your editorial team. So these are not just about sales. This is a great way for your editorial team to get some great content as well. It's a great way to drive traffic. It's a great way to drive great engagement. So think about quizzes not just in sales, but also with marketing and editorial in your entire office. And then finally, have fun with quizzes. They really can be a great way um, for you to engage your audience, engage your staff. Um, you can both educate, you can inform, but you can also just make fun quizzes um, that are just going to be great and social. All right. Thanks, Liz. I, I, I can't say enough about uh, what we've seen. Uh, we've been uh, working with media partners on quizzes for about a year, and it's been really exciting to see the as I said earlier, the versatility of this, um, the success that this is having as a whole. So uh, whatever uh, your publication may be interested in accomplishing, I uh, hope you'll take a hard look at quizzes overall. Once again, there's a lot more of this kind of content uh, about quizzes and case studies and how-tos uh, uh, that you can find on secondstreetlab.com. Um, just sign up for the newsletter and you'll get updated every single week. And of course, that playbook on quizzes uh, is available there overall, and we recommend you go out and give that a download overall. But uh, I just want to thank everybody for joining us, Liz. Thanks for giving your insight and expertise on quizzes, and hope you have a great day. Feel free to reach out to us uh, at secondstreetlab.com uh, if you have any questions. Thanks so much.